Yes, I'm um, called Robert Semogel, an update officer on water and sanitation. And you? I'm Fred, my son from Mayoge, working with an organization called Christian Need the Concern, and I'm the chairperson of MSF, Mayoge Town Council. Our organization it tries to, to identify, to, to move in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the places, identifying the need, the need the people, and support them with income generating activities, and then train them, support those children, vulnerable children, with scholastic materials. And we've opened even a nursery school to support those vulnerable children, and then we look for support of how we can support them. Mm, how, what is the status of uh, water and sanitation in, in Mayuge? The status Basically. of water and sanitation in Mayuge is not, is not good, because Mayuge, 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 the coverage, the coverage of Mayuge is sixty percent is waters, mm. and that waters is lake, lake water, which mm. is dirty, which is not clean, clean for, for for drinking. So, the generally, such of water is not good. Mm. The water taken is not good for mm. drinking. Uh, we hear that uh, Lake Victoria Water and Sanitation Project is already in phase two from mm. in Mayuge. Uh, how is it? How is how has it affected the people? In, especially in as far as water and sanitation is concerned. Anyway, since that project came in, we've not yet started the serious activities on the ground, but so far what we've done of sensitizing the community, the community is very eager about it because they know it's the only thing that is going to help them at least to, to have clean water and as well as helping them at least not to get more diseases and then improving even their lives mm. of living. Uh, ever since the Mount Stakeholders Forum I was uh, elected and you as the chairperson, mm. What have you done in as far as water and sanitation is concerned? We've tried to move, we've tried to move to, move to different cells, sensitizing the community about the project, how it's going to move, how, how, how helpful it's going to be, and how it's going to be generally implemented on the ground, telling them the advantages of this water project that has come, and the community is very eager, because we use now, we use these common organizations on the ground, those local organizations which have been there, as they implement their activities, they incorporate and then whatever they go to say, say they comment about their own organizations, activities, they talk about water and sanitation and then they say that they comment about that. Though we've not yet specifically organized meetings particularly for water and sanitation, but we incorporated them. And even the churches, since the second, the, the, the most struggled as forum is comprised of the church leaders, mosque leaders, religious leaders, cultural leaders, and, the, and all the businessmen. So whatever they be in their place of worship, they talk about this project, and the committee is now aware, just eager to, 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 to see the project beginning on the ground. Mm, the eager to begin now. Uh, do you think, uh, especially in Africa, our greatest problem mainly is uh, records and uh, actually this habit of uh, reporting. Mm. How do you uh, report that to, to, to other organizations that maybe can come in and help? Anyway, initially, we, we, our, reporting, our, our, our reporting has been weak because we've been just writing, writing, writing on, on paper. Sometimes we send on the emails, but documents like uh, we don't have even the gadgets which can help us at least to, 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 get, to get the photos, and then we send even the photos. We just talk about something, but somebody who we are setting it, we cannot even see the real situation that is happening. Mm. So we've been reporting, just writing emails email to, 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 somebody, to some people who are supporting us, but not capturing the video, not capturing... The, 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 the photos. Mm. I heard that you got that training in a, in a real, real simple training, mm. uh, real simple reporting. Mm. Uh, how far have you gone that and how do you think it's going to help your community? That training, we've just had it and I believe when, after that training, we are going to, to the community is going to benefit a lot because whatsoever is going to be happening on the ground, people that we are going to be reporting to, they are going to be getting even the pictures and they are going to be seeing exactly what is happening on the ground because the moment you write, you, 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 you capture even the, the, the pictures and somebody sees exactly what you are telling him in the picture. So mm. I believe when we begin practicing that, it's going to help the community and the project is going to move on smoothly. Mm. Uh, that reporting, I, I call it participatory reporting. Mm. Uh, do you think that people from your community actually gain access Access to that information. Do they have access to the internet? And those with mobile phones, uh, do do they know how to use? Are there mobile phones to access such kind of information? This information, when it reaches the community, every person will benefit. But the, 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 the challenges you are asking, these people, they have the phones, and these phones have even all those services, but they don't know how to use them. Mm -hmm. So I believe that we are going to begin 
sensitizing them in their communities, at least telling them how they can switch on their phones and then they, they can trace that information and they get access to it. Mm. But before we've not also been knowing it. So as, since we've known it, we are going to make the community also know it and then they are going to access it and it's going to benefit them. Thank you. Yeah. Mm.